Good morning and welcome to our daily devotions. This is our daily devotion for Saturday, uh, February 25th, as we continue to look at the Lord's Prayer, at prayer in general, but more specifically the Lord's Prayer. And today we are looking at the second petition, Thy Kingdom Come. Um, well, we're going to jump right into the Bible readings and then we'll, we'll unpack those for you here. So our first reading comes from Romans 14, verse 17, and it says, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Our second reading comes from Colossians 1, verse 13 and 14. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. And our final reading for today comes from 1 Peter 2, verse 12. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. Okay, so all three of these readings are talking about the kingdom of God. Now, if you remember from, from sermons I know I've preached in the last year, uh, the kingdom of God, we live in a time where the kingdom of God is now, and not yet. We are living in Christ's victory. Christ has over, already overcome sin, death, and the power of the devil on the cross. We are living in the victorious kingdom of God now. However, even though the war is over, Satan is still battling against us. He's still trying to pull people away from their relationship with Christ. The kingdom of God will be fully restored and death and Satan put totally a way out of reach of us no longer a problem when Jesus comes back that is the not yet so when we pray that kingdom come we're praying for both of these things we want Jesus to come back and restore his kingdom and restore all his people but we are also praying that he works through us to make his kingdom come on earth when the people of God live like God would have them live and reflect his love and reflect his grace in their day-to-day -day lives, not only do we give witness of our faith, we also give witness to the kingdom and we are living the way God would have us live in his kingdom. You have heard the term that people are living on a hell on earth. Well, we as Christians are given the opportunity to bring heaven to earth as we live as, as citizens of the kingdom of God in the now. Yes, we have the promise of eternity without death and suffering in the not yet kingdom of God, but in the kingdom of God now, we are called to live as citizens of that kingdom, as witnesses to that kingdom, as ambassadors of that kingdom, so that other people may know that the victory over sin, death, and the devil is theirs through Jesus Christ. That's what it means when we pray, thy kingdom come. We pray God's kingdom come in our hearts, but we also pray that God's kingdom comes to restore all of creation. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty broad prayer, but it's pretty cool that we have the opportunity to live out God's kingdom today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus so that we could be made citizens of your kingdom, so that we could be given that victory over sin, death, and the devil. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that as we live our lives, we may live as the citizens that you have made us, and we may be witnesses of the glory of your kingdom to the sinful and broken world. Lord, in your Son's name, we ask all these things. Amen. It has been great spending time with you this week talking about prayer. I look forward to seeing you again soon where we can wrap up this Lord's Prayer and finish up our discussion of this part of Luther's Catechism. You all have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.